The volunteer service was started in response to the government's big society agenda and to the huge numbers of inquiries we were receiving from people wanting to come and volunteer with us. Thanks to initial funding through charitable funds, we appointed Richard Dent as our volunteer coordinator. And from 90 volunteers in July 2011, we've now got over 300 volunteers working across a whole range of services and the numbers continue to increase. The volunteers are the people that can do all of the other bits that the paid staff would love to be able to do but really don't have the capacity. So, you know, just sitting and having a conversation with a patient or, you know, helping them to eat their meal or reading a newspaper with them, doing a jigsaw, those little things that really make a difference to our patients and that we would love to do, our volunteers can deliver that for us. One of the many successes has been in the chaplaincy service and Kelvin can tell you more. We have seven dedicated chaplaincy specific volunteers uh, who offer support and solace uh, to patients and carers at an acute time of stress in their lives, i.e. their visit to A&E. Uh, these volunteers uh, come at uh, our hospital at the unsociable hours of 8pm to midnight. Um, they get some basic training on counselling skills and listening skills from us uh, and they go in equipped to deal with whatever they face uh, in that A&E department and I commend it uh, for the award this year.